Hey everyone, it's Old the Backyard Gardener and it's time for a peach tree update. Uh, I sowed them from seed on October 2nd, 2016. Today is July the 8th, so they're just over nine months. I guess nine months and one week old. The last uh, video was when they just hit eight months, so it's been about five weeks, almost six weeks since the last update. And let me show you the trunk on one of the ones that I put in the bigger pot and as well as what's going on with the runt. Let's go take a look. So as you can see, this peach tree from the last video has probably grown more than a foot. It's really been taken off. I'll tell you, a month ago, I fertilized it with a little 10-10-10 fertilizer and a little bit of cow manure, and then have replaced a dripper head in there that gives it a little bit more, about a gallon or two a week. So it has done a lot better. It gets shaded over here from itself and from some of the other plants and from some of the other trees. So it's not getting beat down in the sun and baking that pot. Now that pot is a huge pot. I want to say it's 20 to 25 gallons. It could be as little as 15, but it's one of those uh, ceramic pots. So who knows how big it really is. But at the end of the day, guys, this thing has gotten huge. Let me show you the trunk on this guy. Look at this thing. That's my finger, that's the trunk. It has gotten huge. I do know with uh, peach trees and almost any young fruit trees in general, you do want to only have about three internal branches making a goblet shape. I'm gonna go with four since there's some really good examples here to stick with. And when I've checked online for other peach trees grown from seed series, uh, and they were producing fruit within two and three years of being sown, so that's pretty cool, it's inspiring. This will be um, a year and a half come next spring. So pretty inspiring, but like I was trying to say, I noticed that a lot of the ones grown from seed seem to be more bushy like this one is. Like they grow dwarfed almost. And the fruits that I've seen on other people who've grown them from seed is sometimes they're ping pong or golf ball shaped and very flavorful. Sometimes they're really big, like the one I just picked off my loring uh, peach tree. And sometimes they're bigger than that. So you never really know what you're gonna get. But from all accounts, every time someone's grown from one from seed, they seem to produce really edible, really great tasting fruit. So I'm excited about that. Don't know if I'll get flowers next year. Don't know if I'll get any fruit next year, but I would hope that the following year I would get some. Anyway, one of the things you do want to pay attention to on peach trees especially is having an open center. And you can see here, I've got an open center here. Now I've got a few branches like this one and this one that are growing towards the middle. I've got one down here I may not need. I've got one shooting off to the side I may not need. But this guy has gotten so big. I'm not planning on doing any more pruning. I did just today. I pulled them up out of the pot and the root ball was pretty solid because this soil level was actually four inches lower and I thought, you know what? He's gonna outgrow this pot. I need to get another six months to a year out of this pot. So I pulled them out of the pot. I put fresh compost in here, a little more cow manure. I set them down in there. I packed some of my fresh compost back around the top. I watered in real good. Then I put a layer of Texas cedar mulch in here, about an inch layer, and then I watered them again. And the water, as you can see, is draining out of the pot down here. So he's watered thoroughly. He's got about four inches more of soil to grow into. That should buy me some more time. He's coming along great. I did prune a lot of the lower branches down here. I didn't get this one yet. I'm gonna leave them for now. But I also cleaned up a lot of the dying leaves just to give him some more airflow in here. But he's coming along great. I'm super excited about it. Again, this was just from a standard store-bought peach. There really was no name of the variety. It was just a bag of peaches, so I'm not quite sure what the variety is. But he's got some cross-pollinators out here. He's got a harvester peach tree that I planted uh, this spring. It was about a year old, so it's starting to get some height. No fruit on it this year. It did put some blooms out, but they never set fruits. And then, of course, back there is my big, huge uh, lowering peach tree. He was two years old when I bought him. He's on his second year with me, so he's a four-year-old peach tree. He's going to produce about eight to ten fruits this year. Not a lot. We get so much wind that a lot of the small, young fruits on this one were knocked down during the wind season uh, before they really had a chance to harden up and sit on the tree a lot better. So it kind of self-pruned itself for me, but I'm only going to get about eight to ten peaches off that one this year. But between the Loring peach, the Harvester peach, and then the uh, store-bought or grown from seed peach tree, we've got some pretty good cross-pollination going on when I get flowers producing at the same time. Here's the runt, guys. You know, 
he's been attacked. Let me just go ahead and show you this. He was attacked by rabbits or rats or something. You can see, you can see all this is not at. I'm thinking about digging him up, getting him in a pot, getting him out of the sun for a couple of weeks and putting him somewhere else. Remember, this is gonna be the future site of that guy over there because this is where I need him. It's not where the pool equipment is. So I need him on this side of the yard. He'll be here. I'm thinking about digging him up anyway and letting this guy recover. I'm thinking it was a rabbit because a lot of the leaves were eaten off and the bottom was chewed at. So again, we're probably gonna dig him up. I'm not gonna do it in this episode, but don't be surprised if next episode he's not dug up and placed at least in a bigger pot. I'll probably have him on the patio for a few weeks and then I'll bring him back out here when he recovers. But that's the runt as well. And this is my nine month, one week update of my peach trees grown from seed. Sorry, it's been a little while on the updates on these. I've got so many things grown from seed series going on. It's hard to keep them all updated. Hey everyone, I thought it'd be a pretty good idea if I went ahead and shown you some of the fruits on my Loring peach tree. I had to pull one off this morning because I noticed some birds on it. It's rubbing against the tree. There was red ants. But anyway, let me go ahead and show you that clip from this morning and uh, we'll close this video out. This is my Loring peach tree. This uh, peach tree also has a few more fruits on it. We got a couple right there. Another one up there. I think there's about eight immature fruits on this tree still. Got another one right there. And again, there's a few more up at the top here, but this one was the closest to being ripened. It still is probably a few weeks away from being ideal, but between it rubbing against the tree, between I saw birds on it this morning pecking at it, it won't last another couple of days. Whew. Man, it is hot out today. It's 100 degrees, guys, and I'm sweating up a storm. I apologize. But anyway, just wanted to give you an update on my peach trees grown from seed series. They're now over nine months old. I plan on giving you an update next month, just like I plan on doing it every month from now on. If you're enjoying the series, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, suggestions, tips, or anything, please leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching.